What's up, members of the barrio? It's John, and today is the kind of day that I live for when I'm making videos. We're gonna be heading to Jackson Heights, Queens, exploring some hole-in-the-wall Mexican food spots with some local food bloggers. So let's get over to Jackson Heights. Right now, we're taking the subway from Manhattan. I've ridden the subway for seven years and I've never seen a magician like that on the subway. You guys are so lucky, you know that? Lucky I had my camera, 99 times out of 100. Do not have my nice camera for that professional magician. Okay, on to the Mexican food business. If you follow this channel for a long time, you'll know that my girlfriend's Mexican. I lived four months in Mexico this past year and I have had so many struggles finding even decent Mexican food in New York City. Well, guys, I'm hoping that's about to change. John, Greg, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. John. Jumi. Nice, nice to meet you, Jumi. We heard that John's having a tough time finding good Mexican food here in New York City, so we're gonna hope to change that today here in Queens. Uh, we eat out all the time in this neighborhood. We're always exploring, and there's uh, several spots that we want to show him, and hopefully it will change his mind. I have come with an empty stomach. These two know their Mexican food locations in Jackson Heights and Corona. Our first stop is Cinco de Mayo Food Market, and we're filming on a Saturday because a lot of these locations have special weekend-only food stalls inside. Let's go eat already, I'm talking too much. Valentina Mexican hot sauce, my favorite item, or one of my favorite items from Mexico. Came last winter, it was so cold out, it was like New Year's Eve, it was freezing out. We came in here, we got this, and we're like, wow. So I think we should get one of these, and then we'll get a uh, barbacoa de borrego, the lamb. That's a little less common to find. Yeah, it's, I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of Mexicans in here. I can honestly say I have never seen a place like this in New York City before, and I've done an entire video based on the taco challenge. This feels like I'm back in Mexico City. All right, guys, I'm trying the tripa beef intestine. I got my Valentina right here. I don't know why, but I do. I have not had a good taco in New York City in such a long time. Mmm. Wow. This meat is so tender. This may be some of the best taco meat I have ever had in New York City. That first bite, you can tell a lot by the first bite. So juicy. The tortilla isn't homemade. That would have made this unbelievable. But this meat is seriously reminding me a bit of the meat I've had in Mexico. And I have never said that about any meat that I've tried in a Mexican place in New York City before. Yeah. Look at that. Massive. Mm. Wow. That lamb flavor really comes through here. It's soft, it's tender. I mean, I'm a lamb lover personally. <laughs> I'm also half Greek, we love lamb. And they do it so well here. They steam it over there and that banana leaf is amazing. You wouldn't find a place like this in Manhattan, except for maybe in Spanish Harlem or Washington Heights. Because you know, it's a very local kind of joint and it's special that way. Gracias. Guys, eating at that spot made me miss Mexico a little bit less. Just knowing places like that exist in New York, Adriana, if you're watching this, you better be watching this. I'm gonna take you here. Next is gonna be another weekend only taco spot in the back of a bodega about five blocks from here. Uh, it's another really tasty one. It's different than here. Um, yeah, we're excited to vamos, show you. Let's go. Let's vamos. We're continuing the speakeasy taco tour by going to the back of this grocery store here called uh, San Antonio. And uh, after stop number one, my expectations are really high right now. Let's go. I can't even believe that there's food back here. And here it is. Hi, how are you? Une pernil, une chorizo, por favor. Look at 
thick and chunky that guac is. It's a huge difference from any taco I've had in New York. A lot of times it's watery, but this one's very thick and chunky. You can eat this on its own. Good. Taco de pernil, so the roast pork. And we have uh, taco de chorizo. So this chorizo here is special. It's got a nice flavor to it. It's different than any other chorizo I've had here. It's, it works really well in this taco. I don't know how you can keep all this meat. It's, like, it's falling out. Ch chorizo, <laughs> pork. Huge. More keeps falling out, but we're gonna eat it later. Don't worry. Okay. Here we go. Chorizo is very good. It's got like a, a strong flavor right from the grill. I like it better though with the guacamole on top. It's a nice combination. I don't want a guacamole which kind of overwhelms the taco with too much flavor. This is a very, very solid taco. I think I can handle this. Wow. Mm. Half of it's falling out. Mm. Chewy. All right. Guacamole is really good. Um, it's very tasty. All right, guys, I interrupt this Mexican food video to offer you a giveaway. This book right here is by my favorite New York City food blogger, Joe DiStefano. Shout out to him if he's watching this. 111 places in Queens that you must not miss. These places should all be on the list, and if they're not, we'll add them to the next edition. But I'm gonna give this away to somebody who in the comments, and you have to be a subscriber, you tell me why you want this book, and I'm gonna pick the best comment. And if you live in the United States, I'm gonna mail this to you for free. My treat, tell me why you want this book. Now we are gonna go for some dessert, and they're telling me that this spot is going to be very good. So we're, we're gonna mix things up a little bit, just walking through Jackson Heights right now. This is not just a Mexican neighborhood. It's extremely diverse. We're actually passing like Ecuadorian and Peruvian carts here. And you hear a lot of uh, Latino music as you walk by, much more so than any American music I've heard here. ¿Cuál es el mejor? Todo. Todo. <laughs> to deal with planes and trains all like coming by here, non-stop noise. It fits New York perfectly. Welcome to Queens. Welcome to Queens, guys. So we've got this piña here. A little mango is mixed in as well. It's two flavors. And I'm taking my first bite of Nieves ever in New York, possibly ever. I'm not positive. Mmm. You do taste that pineapple immediately. It's such a good flavor. It tastes almost like I'm saying natural. It doesn't feel like there's too many preservatives or an overabundance of sugar in this. I think I definitely like this better than Italian ice. This is excellent. I'm gonna have to order another, seriously. We are crossing the border right now between Jackson, Jackson Heights, Heights and Corona. Okay. Junction Boulevard. Huh? Make sure we don't get hit by this car. Almost get hit by that car. <laughs> <laughs> so Junction Boulevard is the dividing line here. So now we are officially in Corona as we have crossed the street. And any differences between this neighborhood and Jackson Heights? Um, it's definitely a, a traditionally a lot of Latin focus. It used to be an Italian neighborhood back in the day. We're going to be near that area later. But yeah, it's a lot of Ecuadorian, Mexican, Dominican as well. It's a, a good Dominican tradition here in Corona. And, and as we walk down the street immediately, I'm just seeing tons of little pop-up fruits, vegetables, guys selling fruit. Check us out. Tortas Nessa. And what's interesting here is that every torta is named after a different Mexican football team. Uh, so the Torta Pumas is what we're gonna get. It's got all these different ingredients. Breaded chicken, jamon, uh, head cheese, chorizo, egg. Cheese, sausage, tons. Guys, what, what have we done here? I don't know what we've done here. <laughs> They're expecting me to eat all this by myself. I'm kinda, guys, I'm kind of skinny for a reason. I can't eat this much. So. <laughs> I can't even get my mouth around it. I just gotta start from the side. It's amazing. The first thing, the first flavor I noticed 
It was a salchicha, the hot dog. Got a little kick to it on top of the omelet and the bread was just grilled over this monstrosity. This is really good. And I don't even know if I could finish a quarter. This is just a quarter of the sandwich with all this meat sticking out. This is this is an insider's pick. Greg and Jumi, wow. Good call here. The hot dog is a really strong flavor. It all works so well together. I'm not a big hot dog fan personally, but in here it works. Everything melts so well together and the bread is excellent. I've never really gone to this area before and I'm just amazed by the sheer amount of Mexican and like Latino delis, grocery stores and restaurants in this area. It's a bit overwhelming and it's a shame it's taken me so long to actually come here. All right, Greg, so where is the final stop of this insane best ever Mexican <laughs> food tour? We're trying to come up with a good name for this video. Uh, so the last stop is La Cienega. It's a Oaxacan spot in Corona. Uh, they specialize in talayudas, moles, and some, a lot of good stuff here. I think we've got just enough appetite for one more thing. You guys are very lucky. This is the first horchata I've had since I lived in Guadalajara. The only weird thing is I'm used to seeing it in a plastic cup where you can actually see the white uh, through the transparency here. It's in a coffee cup. But it still smells good, looks good. Let's see how it tastes. Mmm. Tastes pretty authentic to me. Got that milky flavor and some kind of nuts, like almonds or pecans. 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 There are pecans floating right there. Is that a local thing just for here? Do you guys, do you know? I'm not, I'm not sure about that actually. I, I was curious about it myself. Uh, I haven't been to Oaxaca yet. We want to go. Maybe it's a thing there. Yeah, it's it's delicious. It's very Tell us in the comments. Tell us in the comments if you're from Oaxaca. Are pecans a thing or just a Queens thing? Mm -hmm. So what we have here is the Talayuda. So that's what uh, La Cienega, the place we're at right now, they're famous for. It's a Oaxacan specialty. It's kind of like a pizza. It's a very thin tortilla. I believe it's just made just with masa. And they have uh, beans slathered on it. Uh, with Oaxaca cheese, the white stringy creamy cheese, with raw cabbage, tomato, avocado, a little bit of radish, and we got uh, two toppings. You can get up to three. We got carne enchilada, so we got pork, and we have chopped up nopales, the cactus. I've never tried La Yuda before, never been to Oaxaca as I mentioned. Look at that carne enchilada on top. I barely have any appetite left, but I've been saving it maybe for this. Here we go. Mm. I love the Oaxacan cheese combined with the carne enchilada. A little bit salty, but it's really juicy and tender on top of this little shell. Kind of has a consistency, I would say, of matzah. If anyone out there is Jewish, I would compare the crust to that. But Greg was telling me it's actually really not that heavy. It's so thin. I could eat a bunch of these pretty quickly and I think I'd be happy. So this was a, a nice change of pace and, and a good final stop for us. Check us out on our YouTube channel, Food and Footprints. Uh, John will put that in the description. And uh, we also just launched a after dark food crawl of Queens. It's gonna be more than just Mexican food. It'll actually include Tibetan, potentially Filipino, and much more. Uh, John will also put that in the description below. Um, check us out. Members of the Barrio, what an amazing adventure we just had with Food and Footprints. Amazing couple. Check them out down below, linking to all of their information. You can find good Mexican food in New York City. You just gotta know where to look. I need to go rest right now. I've eaten like three days worth of food. Tell me in the comments, what was your favorite food item that we tried today? I'm really curious. I love making these sorts of videos in New York City. A lot of the neighborhoods that tourists normally skip, they're some of the best places you can ever go. Guys, make sure to subscribe. If you're new to this channel, hit that like button. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time.